To write the net ionic equation for Mg plus H2O, we'll use these rules here. So we're writing the net ionic equation for this magnesium metal here plus water. First thing is we need to balance the molecular equation. It looks like we could just put a 2 in front of the H2O, and that would be balanced. So we have our molecular equation. Then we write the states for each substance. Magnesium, that's a solid, right? That's just magnesium metal. Then we have water, liquid, and then magnesium hydroxide. We probably should look that up to see if it's soluble in water. Hydroxides are kind of sketchy like that. So we'll pull this in here. And where's magnesium? Right here, this magnesium 2 plus, and then hydroxide here. So we go down and then over, and we see that I. That means it's insoluble. It's not going to be dissolved in the water. It's not going to split up into its ions. It's going to be at the bottom of the beaker of the test tube after these two react. So because it's insoluble, we write S. That's because it's a solid. So this is not going to break apart into its ions. The hydrogen, that's a gas. So we'll put a little G after that for gas. So at this point, we want to split the strong electrolytes into ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Except there are no strong electrolytes. This is a solid. This is a liquid. We have this insoluble compound, which is a solid. And then we have a gas. We can't split anything up. So this is essentially the net ionic equation as well, although there's really no ion. So I guess you couldn't call it a net ionic equation. You'll see sometimes people will split this up into its ions, but that is not correct. It's insoluble and it won't break apart. Once these react, it's at the bottom of the test tube. So this is Dr. B with the net ionic, or not the net ionic equation, for Mg plus H2O, magnesium plus water. Thanks for watching.